All right, here is the Atoto P8 On Dash Navigator. It's not a tablet, but it's similar to a tablet. Essentially, it basically can add Android Auto or CarPlay to your vehicle. I recently purchased a 2008 Cadillac STS, which does not have Android Auto, right? 14 year old car doesn't have Android Auto, and that's what I'm gonna use it for. I will say, and that's just a full disclosure, a Toto reached out to me, but fun fact, not too fun for you, fun for me, I was actually looking this online, and I'd already added it to my wish list, and then they reached out to me arbitrarily, different account, and uh, offered it up. So I was like, well, yeah, I'll take that. They didn't pay me or anything, but they did send it for free. Now, if they want to pay me, feel free to send me some money. I'll take money. This is not technically sponsored. I mean, they gave me the product, but they didn't pay me or anything. So there's no rules about what I need to say or don't say. All right, so there's a bunch of stuff in here. A whole lot of stuff in here. So this cool little guy. It's a little remote control, essentially. I guess I don't know how it connects. It doesn't seem to be an on-off button to it. There's a release up here. Interesting. Some big cables. Good Lord. It's like a heavy-duty cigarette lighter guy with two USB ports. And this one has a lightning, or like the charging symbol. And this one just says MP3AA. And then there's an aux out. Interesting. And then here is just FDJ. So I don't know what that means. This, I assume, is some kind of clamp to hold it. This is like a suction style mount that clamps it on. This holds the thing. And that screws in there. All right, so that makes sense. That's a little battery, I guess, for this guy. I guess he's battery powered. That makes sense. It's a little sticky guy. If you want to stick it to your car, I will not be doing that. More clamp, guys. Oh, I see. If you wanted to wrap it to your steering wheel like that, I'm not going to do that. I don't want this on my steering wheel. I'm just going to hold it in my hand, I guess. Don't know what this is. And I guess a bigger suction cup piece. All right. So, you know, in theory, you want to sit on your dash like that. I don't know if I'm going to do that necessarily, but we'll see. And here's a little quick setup guide. You plug cigarette lighter power, of course. Okay. So these are if you want to have a camera and a microphone and stuff like that hooked up. It doesn't come with those. They have a different one that does come with that, but this one I didn't. I told them they offered it up. I said I was not going to use any of that stuff. So, so let's check out the main event here. It's very interesting. This guy plugs in there, I guess. All right. And this will plug into the power of the car. I can't do that here. I'll have to do that in the car. And I guess this is the clamp guy to hook it up. All right. So this is the on this arrow. This arrow is off. That makes sense. So put it that way. And then this guy. I see. So this will clamp into here. All right, so that snaps on the back. I guess you do it any way you want. Yeah, so it probably sets up like this on your dash. That makes sense. There's a USB-C port here. Does that go for my phone, maybe? You can use different third-party holders there. That makes sense, yeah, because you have this little ball mount, so I guess you can put anything you want on there. Because I don't want to stick it to my dash. I don't like that. I don't know why there's a USB-C port on the back. There's a nine on this side, but then it stops at eight. Well, I'm going to say right off the bat, the instructions are not great. All right, I'm just gonna take the car and see if I can figure it out. All right, so here we are in the old Cadillac, as you can see. You know, the greatest infotainment system in 2008. Cord is long enough, it should be fine. Put it on my windshield. All right, so there we are in the windshield there. So my Cadillac's weird. This is where the auxiliary port is. It's, you have to do two RCAs in the auxiliary, which is dumb. But you can see I kind of basically have everything cleaned up and tidied there. And all I'm gonna have is this one cord coming out of my console. And I just got to tuck that away a little bit. And then I'll have a nice clean a Toto implementation, right? So I'll plug it in. It turns red on my side. All right, so there we are. Let's look at the menu here. There's Android Auto. Oh, there's an SD card slot. I guess I could put SD cards in there. Tap P8 in the Bluetooth list. So I have my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on. So let me turn on my Bluetooth on my phone. And I'm going to turn Bluetooth on here. And there it is, a Toto. So it says Mike's Fold. Oh, there's Android Auto. There we go. That's pretty neat. So there's audio coming out of this thing. That's interesting. Super loud audio coming out of this thing. I'm gonna assume there's an aux out on this little guy down here. You can't see it. All right, let me go over my Cadillac. Let me change it to aux, audio output. There we go, you gotta turn that on to aux. There we go. Now let's go back to Android Auto. All right, so that works. There we go, there's the volume. So I'm gonna crank this one all the way up. Look at that. So you can expand it. I didn't even realize that. That's nice. There we go. Now we're even closer, which is nice. All right, so we got this. All right, so we play pause it and we'll play it. Change the tracks. Change the back. So yeah, I mean, you could mount it here. So it's pretty cool. Navigate to King Donuts. King Donuts. All right. 
It's a really good picture. I mean, I see it pretty clear. I mean, it's small. I mean, it's not much smaller than this screen. Obviously, the colors are way better. You can see how yellow the old Cadillac one is, but the display is really nice. I'm actually pretty excited about this. I thought, you know, I'm going to replace the head unit at some point, and I actually may put an Toto in there now, but it's still summertime, 75 degrees at 644, so it takes a lot of effort to get this out, and I don't want to sweat to death and die, so this will get me through until it cools off for my beloved winter time, and then I can use this until then. I will like clean up these wires a little bit. I guess maybe that's what that tape is for, but not bad at all. And then sounds good i'm listening to royalty free music so it's not exactly jamming but it worked with the audio right it doesn't bother my vision here you can move it other places of course i might get some kind of adapter to put it somewhere else but really it's not bad there because i'm looking right here i'm not looking over there necessarily i mean obviously my scan my periph i'll see it but pretty good and it's staying on there i'm on a bumpy road this cadillac probably needs new shocks and it's still all right and this is my phone here playing this song so it's truly wireless android auto you know this is wired obviously for my car it's aux input so that's pretty good and the aux input is directly into the usb adapter which is where my aux input as well so all i'm really gonna have is this one cord so if i can snake this around somewhere nicely and they have those clamps i could clamp it here it could be a nice little setup and with this i should be able to get my tech still because i have the spotify car thing which only does spotify is only like a remote control for your phone so it's not quite the same and the audio is still wonky yeah, so my text comes there. I gotta blur that out, of course, but my text is coming through. This works just like a normal Android Auto head unit. It just doesn't have to get installed. So it's pretty awesome. Cruising through Jefferson Town, Kentucky. Fun fact, I used to live over here. I'm not gonna tell you why. I don't live there anymore, so don't try to stalk me and kidnap me. Try to kidnap me and steal my Atoto. Yeah, this is a big win for me. I'm digging this bad boy. All right, so there we are. It gets the uh, big thumbs up from me, buddy. So here's what I was saying. This is the Spotify car thing. And here is the uh, Toto. So you can see, you know, obviously it's a big size difference. And this is all this thing does is Spotify. Whereas this is the whole shebang. Yeah, so let's look on the back of it here. So here's a USB-C MP3. So I'm assuming if you had MP3s on your device, you could play them that way. And then here is an ambient sensor. Here is an SD card slot, and then here is a little power like reset button. I'm not gonna use these, so I'm just gonna tape them up with that black tape. I haven't done it yet, of course. And then, so let me put it back in here. We can go through a little more detail. I have a little more time to play with it. Let's take a look at the device itself. This is the home screen, this is the app screen. So you got CarPlay or Android Auto, so it depends if you have your phone. Gallery, if you wanna put pictures on there, of course. Phone, so I'm assuming I'll just make Bluetooth phone calls. And music, that's if you have stuff in the SD card. Bluetooth, if you want to play just Bluetooth music, I assume. DVR, that's if you had, you can buy an extra a camera and adapter and stuff that would go with it. And then your settings, so your languages, your display. You can have wallpaper if you want to change it. That's the Earth there, right? We've got this other Earth, or not Earth, uh, I guess Mars, maybe. I don't know, different planets. Just straight up black. Oh, you can go up some more. Oh, yeah, look at that. we got a bunch of stuff. Little house guy, mountaintops, car light. Jeep thing. I think I'm going to go with this guy here. This lets your audio output. So if you want to do the FM transmitter, you would use this one. And this button is if you're using the aux cord. And you know, obviously if your car had Bluetooth already, it would work just fine with Bluetooth. But mine does not. You know, it's a 2008 Cadillac, so it only has Bluetooth for phones, right? Not music. So I basically have to. And this here is an audio, so you can adjust the audio from this system and the car separately. So I set this about 75% ish and I use my car for the rest of it. This is a brightness slider, of course, and I have to set to auto, which works pretty good. This is the date and time. It is wrong here. I don't know if there's a way to change that. So your languages, display, that's a wallpaper. We can change the boot logo from a Toto to you know various cars. Driver's seat, so you can determine if you're on the left side or the right side, I'm on the left side. Reset, that's if you wanted to reset the device. I don't want to do that right now, of course. Camera, that would be if you have a rear view camera hooked up. I don't have a camera hooked up to it. Audio, you can make it mute when you go in reverse, but I don't have a that hooked up. Hands-free output, I guess you can make that to go to Bluetooth or the device has speakers itself in there. You can see my phone battery up here. Time, here we go, so we can change the date. Everything else basically is just Android Auto, which is pretty nice. I don't know if you can change this home screen or not, but again, I would never use the home screen, just me, right? I'm gonna use Android Auto pretty much for everything. So now you can see, if I'm just using Bluetooth, you can see it there on display if you, Click on that, doesn't do anything. But if you do this, you can, you can see if you just want to do just Bluetooth music and not use it for Android Auto, which again, I'm not going to do. I'm going to use Android Auto. So now we're back on Android Auto. Of course, Android Auto does all the Android Auto things you would expect. Nothing 
crazy about that. And again, if your car has Bluetooth audio, it probably would work. I'm using aux cord because my car doesn't have Bluetooth audio. But you can use this little doohickey like I showed you in the previous video. It works pretty good. And I did figure out how to get this guy to work. It does just pop out. I was overcomplicating things. And it actually came with a battery already in. So I put a battery in myself. Thanks to Toto for sending it over. And I'm going to keep using it. I like it. All right. Thanks.